So next method that we're gonna tackle. Let's see what all what all I did. Uh, we didn't get to that yet. And block. We didn't get to textures. Okay, is indirectly powering two. This is just a simple. I don't know. It's just a simple redstone method, and it just pretty much lets you um, power the adjacent blocks. So what we're gonna do is public boolean is indirectly powering to open parenthesis world world int i j and k and l and again it's x y and z and then you're simply going to return is powering to open parenthesis world i j k and l close parenthesis and semicolon it's just little things that have to be done with redstone to make sure that it's powering the blocks and whatnot so you have to do this this pretty much checks for you know, like the redstone checks if there's a could be like a power source nearby. So after that, ooh, that's our update tick. Ooh, I guess. Hi, right, you know what? Uh, that's the textures. Let's do is powering two. This is a uh, this is a long one, and I can actually show you where this can be found. So let me paste that in there. But if we look in our block redstone torch, as you see, this method is powering two. You can just go ahead and copy this whole method because it's the same exact thing. So we have is powering two, but instead of as the torch has is torch active, that has like right here torch active. We we just have solar. That's our boolean of this class. So is powering two. So if it's not solar, meaning if solar is false, and like solar is not the the block is not solarly powered you're gonna return false as in no it is not powering to any other blocks because it doesn't have any power to give so it's not gonna power in the other blocks now this again this was just copied right out of the out of that uh, redstone torch method and what this does it pretty much I don't know it's it switches sides like this was for a torch no this was for a I believe a repeater and it pretty much checks like all the other blocks that um, they're adjacent to the block of like our block and this is just I, I don't know this is just kinda like it has to be here because it doesn't you know it doesn't power the corner blocks I'm pretty sure that's what it is the corner blocks and just, just stuff like that so make sure this is in here this is just like different sides and what it powers but just just paste it in there it's a I believe it yeah it's the same exact thing as in the torch let me just paste that in there so now we have that is what else have we not gone over yet we haven't gone over textures and we haven't gone over our update tick so let's go over update tick now this is you know how before I said we're scheduling an update this is the, what actually this is the actual update this is what it does so right here when we go like if you place a block then it schedules a block update or if you um, let's see I think it was the only one but what we do is update tick this is what the actual update does this is we're giving function to the update right now so you're gonna do public void update tick and you're gonna pass in a world world int i j and k and then a random random so on the first line of our update we're gonna want to solar which is our boolean which you know true or false or our class so solar equals mod underscore and then we're gonna make this blockium uh, yep so mod underscore blockium is solar oh we, oh that wasn't a static method okay we're gonna go fix that right now so you're gonna do solar equals mod underscore blockium or whatever your whatever your uh, class was mod underscore whatever dot period so it's pretty much we're going inside of this class to get this method and we made a method called is solar and then we passed in a world we passed in x y and z and then a block id but it might be giving you an error now so let's go to our mod blockium and we have to make this a static public static boolean there we go now this means that a static method is the same throughout every single instance that we make you probably have absolutely no idea what that means just trust me just put a static between the public and the boolean in is solar 
So if we go ahead and save, that should be that should be fixed. So the next line in our update, we're simply going to notify the neighbors again. So you're going to do notify neighbors, open parentheses world i j and k and like you know the x y and z, and then closing parentheses and semicolon. And now in the third, um, in the third update, or I mean third line of the update, we're simply going to schedule another block update, meaning in whatever the tick rate is, eight seconds, in eight seconds it's going to loop around right back here and it's going to check again if the if it's solar. And now let's say if solar equals false, so it's not in the sun, then it every update it checks solar is equal to whatever our is solar method returns. So for, for some reason it, it goes in the sun and is solar turns to true, well then our solar will turn to true and then it will update, notify the neighbors and everything. So that's how it works. Every other every update you have to check and recheck to see if our block is in the sunlight. So um, we went over schedule block update. It's the same thing as in our on block added. You're simply going to schedule another update that goes right back into here, right back into here, and that's how it works. Now the last thing we have to do is figure out our our little textures. So I'm not gonna do it in this class just yet. We're gonna go back to our mod blockium. If we scroll all the way up, we're gonna register and all that just like a normal block. But as you see, like right here, um, yeah, let's just go. I'm gonna go right under the uh, converter simply because it has multi textures and it's just gonna be easier for me. So we gotta do. Oh, 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 oh okay. Wait, oh yeah, I'll just do it. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do mod loader dot register block. Make sure it registers with a lowercase r. Register block, and then we're going to give it. I believe I called it blockium panel. Blockium solar panel. There we go. That's our variable name, which is right here. Now we did this many times already, so you should probably already know this. And then we're going to do. Uh, oh, we're going to give it a semicolon, so it registers a block. Next, we want to give it a name, so we're going to do add name, blockium solar panel, and then let's just give it a I don't know blockium solar panel. That sounds like a good name. Oh, there we go. So you're going to just do the object itself, and then comma and name. We went through this many times, and let's give it a recipe. I'm just going to copy this recipe, and if for uh, let's see. Block dot, uh, I don't know. Let's do block dot sand. If you nope, that's already sandstone. Uh, if we do block dot, I don't know. What can we do? Block dot wood. Is that okay? Wait, wait. Oh, I, why did I put a semicolon there? Okay, so what this does is pretty much in a four in a two by two pattern. If we put wood in a two by two pattern, we're gonna get one blocking solar panel. This is just for testing purposes. You can change your recipe to whatever you want. Now, right here, make sure to change this also. Forgot about that. If you're going to copy another recipe, make sure to change everything you have to blocking solar panel instead of the other one. So now that we have we have our recipe, we have our name. Should probably comment it out just so I know. Solar panel. Now we need to work on the textures and overriding the textures. So, let's go up here back into where all our variables are declared and under our converter and log side variables we're going to do a public static int uh, let's do blocky no let's do panel side and then let's do another public static int panel top we're going to we're just going to have two different variables and i have this commented here because just to remind me so we have panel side and panel top we go down to where okay where did i just put this we go down to solar panel. We're gonna do the same thing as we did with the converter, and we're gonna do panel. Whoops. Panel side equals mod loader dot add override. Then we're gonna do uh, backslash terrain dot png, comma. Uh, let's do blockium. I, I made I made some textures here, and I named blockium panel top and blockium panel side. They're not the most professional textures, but they work, you know, whatever. So blockium, maybe blockium panel side. 
And by the way, I'm going to give you this whole thing, the code download with all the textures after this video. So look out for that on the Minecraft forums. So we're going to panel top equals mod loader dot add override. Oops. We're going to do terrain.png, comma, blockium, blockium panel top. Oh, I forgot the dot PNG. It would not have been good. Dot PNG. There we go. So now we have both of our textures overridden. Now what we can do is, eh, well, okay. Let's just save that. So we have both of our textures. Remember, we named it panel side and panel top. So now we can go back to our block, block, uh, block, block in solar panel. And we're going to give it some textures. I think we did this before with the log, but we're going to give it some different textures. So, this is for my solar redstone. So, okay, this is, so one is top and zero is bottom. Okay, so you're going to do public int get block texture from side and you're going to pass it an int x. So, and what we're going to do is if x equals equals one, you're going to return a mod underscore blockium dot panel top. So we're giving it a, if the x equals equals 1, that means if it's the top side of the block, we're going to return, we're going to go into our mod blockium and grab our variable panel top, which is overridden with our texture as the panel top. And you can do else, so if it's not equals equals to 1, we can do return mod blockium dot whoops blockium panel panel side so we're only making two different textures for this so the top will have its own texture and then every other side of the block will have its own texture well well we'll have the other texture I guess there's only two textures simple this is a simple method and now actually we might be close to done I don't know what else we gotta do but I think that might be it so uh, let's go Let's check this. Yeah, there's nothing else I can see in here. And in my blocking, we have everything finished. So if we go ahead and hit run. So there we go. We hit run. We're going to go to single player. And let me make a new. I don't know. I just deleted that. Let me make a new thing. Come on. So, I hope there's no error. Nope, doesn't look like it. And if I get some redstone, I really gotta show you guys how to uh, put your blocks in creative because I probably should do that. It would save me a lot of time. So, if we get some redstone and a crafting bren branch, crafting bench, if I can find it. Uh, where are you, crafting bench? Crafting bench. I'm blind, aren't I? Oh, there it is. So we have a crafting bench, and we make ourselves... Uh, really? I don't have enough wood. Let's get some wood. <laughs> okay. And we make ourselves a blockium solar panel. And we put it out in the sun. So, like, it's, like, right there. I know horrible textures. We put our redstone right there. Right now it's updating. And oh, oh no. What went wrong? Update tick. Block blockium solar panel. Oh no. Okay, so let's see what went wrong with our array index out of bounds. Is solar world.java. My blockium is solar. Let's see what went wrong. Y plus C. Huh. Okay, well, I don't know what went wrong right now, but I'll be your back right after I figure this out. So, I'll be your back. Alright, so I am back and I figured it out. It was, I don't know, it was something stupid. They, I don't know, I think they updated it or something. But if you go to your mod blockium and if we go to our is solar method, right here when it says block ID, change that to a zero. 
make sure that's a zero. So you're going to go ahead and click, just instead of block ID, just type in a zero. And then if we go ahead and play it, I was messing around with this a bit earlier, well, like two minutes ago. And here we go. It detects the sun and it is solar. And then for some reason, if you place a block on top of it, it doesn't do anything. But the blocking block, the one that blocks sunlight, has to be two blocks above it. I don't know why. But there you go, it turns off. And if we get rid of that. And I, if you're saying to yourself, like, oh, you should remove that plus one from that, no, it's not that. Because I've tried that and then it doesn't work at all. But if you have, I guess, if you have a roof of two above it, it doesn't work. I don't know. But then if it detects sunlight, it works. There you go. But if you have a, if you have a roof above it, well, I'm creative, huh? For example, if you have a roof above it like this, and you're blocking the sunlight from getting there, well, there you go. It, it turns off. So, um, sorry for kind of the choppiness, I guess, and sorry for that error. I was not counting on that. I probably should have pre-screened it before. But I hope you learn how to play around a little with brightness, how to play around a little with redstone, and, you know, how to just make a solar panel. And next up, I think we're going to be tackling maybe the trap, solar, either solar trap or, or the solar clock, which is going to be kind of fun. So, yep, thanks for watching, and see ya. Oh, oh wait, 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 no, not over yet. Um, what I want to say? Oh. All your errors and suggestions and all your errors, every single one of your errors, don't post them in the comments. Post them in the forum link that is down below in the description that says MC Forum, Minecraft Forum. Post your errors and suggestions in there. And also, I am going to have provide a code download for this mod, uh, well, right after this episode ends. So go ahead and download it from there. It's gonna also going to be on the forum. It's going to be on my channel. So go download the, the code from there. And I'm finally, this is the end. Sorry for the really long episode. But you learn how to make a solar panel. So thanks for watching and see you.